Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I have another film to review from the 1950s, folks. Yes, sir. It's from my to-do list again. Oh boy. Yeah, I've always had this list, folks. I know I don't always show it, especially in my older videos, I mean from way back when. But yeah, I've always had this list. You know, it helps me to keep track and stuff during to review. And because I do watch a lot of movies, folks. I mean, I do watch a shit ton of movies. And most of it is like from stuff in the past, obviously. The really obscure stuff that nobody would talk about, I guess. So, that's fine. I like being different from YouTube. Yeah, the typical stuff that'll get popular or whatever. So, yeah. I like standing out like a soft thumb. I'll tell you that right now. So, anyway, this is one that's gonna be another vintage sci fi film for you folks. Yes, yeah, the rare movie titled Destination Space. Yep, sci fi flick. Of course. So, because why not, I guess. I've reviewed sci fi films before in the past, so why stop now? Yeah, I wanted to review something from the 1950s anyway. I reviewed a lot of stuff from the 1950s as well, so... What's another one? Why not? Ah. Gotta have something to drink, I guess. So anyway, folks. Like always, as usual, I do have the top of the plot. So, you know, let's get into the story of it, shall we? So, here we go. Yes, sir. So in this film, we get to see that there is this character named James, whom is supposed to be this director of the United States Space Program, is in charge of operations on board of this space station, so to speak, the force of his kind, according to the storyline here. And yes, of course, there's going to be some sort of launch from the station, uh, the force kind of thing they're trying to you know have orbit and let's just say things do become rather crazy I guess you I guess you can say because well we're supposed to have an adventure in these kinds of movies oh so yeah there are these men who are aboard this orbiting space station countdown to the launch of a rocket whose crew are to abort orbit the moon, of course, but the thing is that before the launch can occur, there is this rogue meteor that zooms into and damages the space station, unfortunately. And let's just say that something, something doesn't need, need to happen, of course. And, of course, you know, we're going to have a, a crazy adventure anyway, obviously, because that's part of these movies. The, the characters are supposed to, you know, have some sort of adventure here and that's exactly what happens here of course so yeah let's just say that's basically the overall premise of this film and yeah, I say it's not a bad one I can say that it's a pretty good one I did like the film folks and yes I did find it rather surprising that yeah there's a Cold War angle kind of a thing I guess you would say yeah, it, this is a subtle part of the space race kind of a thing, I guess you would say. At one point, I say one of the characters makes it, it you know, I guess you would say blunt about some things. And, so yeah, I, I guess I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, those songs touches on some sort of political kind of a thing, is what I'm saying, I guess. That's basically what I'm trying to get at, really. And, that's fine by me, I suppose. So, this is definitely one of the more obscure titles, as I was saying. And yeah, it's cheaply made, but that's fine by me. I didn't, it didn't bother me that much, really. But I did like the designs of the overall sets and whatnot. So, there was that. Shit, I need more, I need more drink. Damn it. Anyway, this film is this TV made movie with the intention of 
creating a TV series afterwards. Unfortunately, it didn't catch the people's attention enough, I guess you can say, of the studio who was supposed to help to make the television series. So it failed what it's supposed to be doing. Which is a shame because I didn't think this film was that bad. It was actually quite good. It was actually really nice to see a well-constructed story with decent characters, I guess you would say, but so what series could have you know came from this? You would never know. The TV series that this I was supposed to come out of this was never made. And that's sad because I, I like this film. Just li it just leaves you to the imagination of what could have been, unfortunately. <sighs> I guess you can say some people out there have no imagination. It's work. But I'll say check this film out, folks. This film, this movie is available on DVD. So you're going to check it out, be my guest. It really isn't that bad. It's quite solid. I did like the acting for the most part. I did like the overall tone they're trying to um, have here. A solid story here, of course. Not a bad film at all. So, anyway, it will get an overall rating of a 7.1 out of 10. It gets a 7.1 out of 10 for me. And as always, Thanks for watching and take care. Until next time. Oh yeah.